Welcome everyone who's new. Welcome back everyone who is returning. My name is Jacqueline. I'm the Holistic Siren and on my channel, I help you guys embrace your most authentic self through physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. I'm a Reiki master, tarot reader, natural born psychic medium, and integrative nutritionist. Okay, so I help you guys heal your physical body, also clear your chakras, and come into alignment with your life purpose. All right, so really tap into that heart space. Make sure that you feel in alignment with my energy. And let me know, do you guys feel in alignment with my energy? Are you vibing in this space? That is very important, okay, with anyone that you receive a reading from or that you watch. Make sure that you feel in alignment here. So let me know, do you feel in alignment? Official Kevin Hughes, um, you can email me, theholisticsiren at gmail.com. Awesome, 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 awesome. I love it. So today and every Friday, for anyone who's new, um, I do a weekend reading. So we're going to see what the energy forecast is for today, tomorrow, and Sunday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Fridays are for the weekend reading, so please make sure you give me a follow. I really appreciate it if you do feel in alignment with my energy. Also, so you get notified every time I go live so you don't miss any of the readings. I go live every single day, um, pretty much. <laughs> and I do um, weekly energy forecasts, daily energy forecasts, and weekend energy forecasts. Okay? Um, so please give me a follow guys. I would really appreciate it. And we also have a 50 K like goal every single morning. So please tap, tap, tap the screen to like the live. So we hit our collective goal. You are part of the holistic, well, um, <laughs> holistic siren soul family and our team. Okay. So teamwork makes the dream work y'all teamwork makes the dream work. All right. But I'm big on interaction, you guys. So comment ready if you are ready for the weekend energy forecast through tarot. Let me know, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? Comment ready if you are ready for the weekend forecast through Zitaro. Everyone's like, yeah, I get to it. All right, cool. So you guys liked this format last week. So let me know if you guys like this format again. I'm going to do Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So today, tomorrow, Sunday. What to expect? Are you guys down for that? Are you all down for that? That format, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three rows for each day or one row for each day. Okay, cool. Awesome. And guys, keep tapping that screen to like the live. Okay, you guys keep me motivated just as much as I keep you motivated. Okay, so tap, tap, tap the screen. 50K like goal. Let's do it. All right, so here we go. God's Earth Universe, divine critical things, only for our highest and best and through your divine love and light. What is the energy forecast? What do we need to know about today, Friday? What do we need to know about today? Let's see. If anyone's wondering, I'm using my gummy bear tarot. I just got this deck. I love it. Okay, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Fortune after difficulty. Fortune after difficulty. I feel like there's going to be some sort of celebration um, regarding family, maybe children. Maybe you guys are having a party today, graduation. Six of... Or there's just... There's some sort of um, resolution coming in regarding supporting your household. So this could be paying bills. This could be buying a house. This could be moving. This could be um, coming together with family, maybe your kids. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. And then the star. Okay. So there could be some healing coming in. We have Aquarius energy. We've got Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Cap, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, but my fire signs don't, like, this. it doesn't matter. You don't have to be that sign. But Ten of Cups, Six of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are receiving some really, po I've been saying this, receiving some positive news. Um, could be from an Aquarius, could be regarding a new job that you feel more in alignment with, could be remote work, um, or it could just be you moving on from a difficult situation within your home. So within a domestic partnership, maybe um, 
moving out of a difficult situation regarding a family matter or financial. Okay. If you guys have been worried about financially supporting your home or people that live in your home, there's some sort of healing that's happening or, um, resolution. Five of cups. This is after some sort of loss. Queen of wands. There's that Aries Leo Sag energy. And then three of cups. And then three of wands. Okay, so we have three, three, and then we have six, six as well. All right. Um, so three of wands is saying your ships are coming in. There's some some sort of like positive news regarding something that you've been waiting for, okay? Three of Wands, so this would represent something that you have been putting energy into that you're passionate about, okay? Or waiting for news to come in about future plans. Like I feel like today you're getting news regarding some sort of future plans that you want to move forward with. It's like today you're gonna be able to move forward. Does that make sense to you guys? Because Five of Cups, you had to lose something I feel like you guys, maybe there was a separation within like a marriage or someone you lived with, but like dropping this person, it could be family as well. Any person that made you feel less than, made you feel disempowered, really like took jabs at your insecurities. I feel like you guys have let this person go and now you're seeing your, your future very, very clearly. Queen of Wands, Three of Cups, you guys, there's going to be some sort of reason to celebrate today because you are feeling so confident, super, super confident. It's like, okay, for some of you, this could be a job offer coming in. This could be a promotion coming in. This could be um, some sort of uh, financial support coming in because of a business or it's just financial support coming in so you feel more confident in your ability to provide for yourself, maybe provide for your children or provide for other people. <laughs> okay. Let me know what's resonating, guys. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Guys, this is coming in very fast. Very, very fast. This is fast, quick movement. Um, oh, okay. So when this news comes today, guys, um, or if it did already come and there's movement happening regarding this today, it's like going to get you out of a funk. Who's been in a funk? Who's been like in a funk lately? Three of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Okay, so, and then the star still on the bottom. Um, a lot of you guys are, um, who here has been wanting to step into their life purpose, what you feel in alignment with? This is The star is a card of hope, of renewal. No more tower moments, guys. This is the promise of no more things falling apart, no more things blowing up in your face, okay? But I feel like it's like today you're going to gain the resources to maybe invest in a healing business, being able to move forward and work with someone that can help you develop your spiritual gifts or help you learn how to how to heal others. Does that make sense to you guys? How to heal others? Or how to heal yourself. Take it as it resonates. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys have been like on the fence if you would be able to invest in this. In this new beginning. Questionable if you were able to invest in this new beginning, but you are. The Fool is, is the promise of freedom. High Priestess, you knew this freedom was coming though. High Priestess. The Magician, you manifested this. This is a manifestation, guys. Um, Catherine, yes it is. Yes, it is. I think I only have three spots left for that. All right. Yeah, it's like you guys are so ready to invest in this new beginning. And it's something your intuition has been telling you. Like what your guides are saying right now, guys, is like, can you like invest already? Can you already, can you like, we're giving you what you need. Can you just take the leap of faith regarding whatever like your intuition has been telling you? 
All right. My, for my fellow light work, 10, 10, as I'm saying, this guy's 10, 10, my fellow light workers who has been hesitating on investing in, I don't know, working with a coach, working with a mentor in understanding how to take action and grow or start your business. Queen of Pentacles. Yes, it is still available. The link is in my bio. Okay. The magician, you have the resources now. The magician, yes, it's a card of manifesting, but it's a card of as above, so below. Okay. You have everything within you to manifest, to co-create. Wow. Guys, this is just for today. I haven't even gotten to Saturday and Sunday. Holy shit. I haven't even gotten to Saturday and Sunday yet. Wow. Okay, um, for all my fellow light workers, um, please hang on. Well, everyone hang around, but um, if anyone is interested in hearing about the Holistic Siren Light Worker Business Academy, I'm actually teaching my fellow light workers how to build a successful spiritual business like I did. Okay, helping you guys avoid all the mistakes I made. All right, how to build a successful business very quickly. But anyway, let me know if anyone's interested. I've only got three spots left. So if you're serious about it, but it, this is saying to invest in yourself, guys, like there's some resources coming in. You're getting out of a difficult situation. This queen of wands, she is saying, be, you are going to feel bold, assertive, confident, like you can take on the world. Okay. Um, and work and invest in working on taking this leap, this new beginning. There's, and this is all about you guys. Like, I don't see relationship sh stuff in here. This is the relationship you have with yourself. I feel like there was some sort of loss in a relationship, maybe a separation, but that separation needed to happen so you could step into your self-identity. So you could step into your queen of wands energy. Wow. And guys, keep tapping the screen to like the live Keep tapping the screen to like the live. We got a 50K like goal. Um, it's okay. So Catherine, um, PayPal the first payment, um, and then I will send you an invoice for the rest. But let's see what the Rebel deck has to say. This is a pretty awesome deck. Um, it's very tough love. So let's see what the message is for today from the Rebel deck. Okay, so this card says, have you, eat, have you eaten? You are acting like a big-ass baby. Have you eaten? You're acting like a big-ass baby. You need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. <laughs> okay, so um, who's been having a pity party? Who's been having a pity party? Treat yourself. Treat yourself. I feel like that card is more of a you need to laugh. What else? Okay. And the second card is, um, second card is it's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out of your ass pronto. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Uh, I feel like you guys have been so stressed out. Maybe you're just not eating. Maybe you're, you're having a lot of stomach issues. Okay. Um, anyone having like stomach issues, upset stomach, bloating, I'm hearing constipation. Um, maybe anxiety in the feeling in your gut. Yeah. That's your solar plexus guys. Um, feeling so 222 two, two in the live confirmation, a lot of solar plexus. So um, I feel like you guys have been clearing out, uh, clearing out people, energies, jobs, aspects of yourself that disempower you. You're no longer allowing anything or anyone to disempower you. Yeah, if you notice that you're getting bloated or having any digestive issues, guys, um, or your appetite is changing, that is your solar plexus energy. 
So are you having fun enough because your solar plexus is inner child? Um, are you taking divinely inspired action on things that your intuition is telling you to take a move on? Are you surrounding yourself with people that make you feel like shit? That will cause blockages in your solar plexus. All right. But who's ready for Saturday? Who's ready for Saturday? Let me know in the comments. Are you ready for the Saturday forecast? That was Friday. Now we're on Saturday. Okay. Um, and if anyone has, a lot of you guys are asking me, if anyone has questions about joining the Holistic Siren Reiki Academy, Tarot School, or the Lightworker Business Academy, or the Authenticity Masterclass, please let me know in the comments, um, just so I know if I should talk about it or not. The Authenticity Masterclass, I've only got four spots left out of 10. The Lightworker Business Academy, I've only got three spots left if you're trying to build your lightworking business. Reiki Academy, there's only two spots left for classes for September. And then Tarot School, registration closes today. All right, so comment what you're interested in if you would like to hear any information about it. But here we go. Saturday, 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 Saturday. Um, Alexis, if you go to the link in my TikTok bio, babe, it's the link right below my profile picture. You'll see that's my link tree. Um, also tarot school as well. You guys, all the information will be there. Link right below my profile picture on my TikTok page. And then you'll see Reiki Academy or tarot school. All the information is there. How long is the one-on-one? -on -one? Um, it can be an hour, hour and a half. And let me know, confirm for me, guys, if you're actually going to enroll and sign up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, here we go. Saturday. What do we need for Saturday? Guys, keep tapping that screen, guys. Come on. Tap the screen. We've got a 50K like goal. 50K like goal. Telston 2. How much for what, babe? you got to be specific. Eight of cups. Ace of cups. And then, ooh, two of cups. Queen of cups. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Okay. So queen of cups is saying, you guys, you're in a really strong place emotionally and intuitively. Really strong place emotionally and intuitively. Now, or it, this could be, guys, this is like healer energy. Who here is a healer? Who here is a healer or wants to be? Because you guys are extremely gifted, okay? Like, whether you believe it or not, you are, okay? Um, Queen of Cups is saying, trust your intuition. Acknowledge how much emotional maturity you have developed from walking away from all that no longer serves you, okay? Eight of Cups. Because whatever you walked away, whoever or whatever you walked away from, guys, Saturday, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, could be meeting someone, potentially soulmate, um, could be um, coming together with maybe accepting a new partnership or a new job, okay, making the decision to, um, like, I feel like Saturday, like tomorrow, guys, there's a big decision and a new beginning starting that's very emotionally fulfilling. Two of Cups. There's some, there's some, a new, could be a new person coming in. Yeah, Six of Pentacles that wants to give a equal, equal energy exchange. Wants to give to you as much as you are able to give. Queen of Wands because they see your value. See your value big time. They see you as beautiful, confident, fiery, okay, passionate. So this could be someone wanting to pay you, okay, like pay you what you're worth. Um, they see your value, or this is a romantically, um, or family member, friend, whatever. Take it as it resonates. Wants to have equal energy exchange. This could be a big increase in business, honestly. Um, I'm feeling like this is confirmation that you guys are on the right path with your business, maybe with your self-love journey, anything you're pursuing that you're passionate about. Now, seven of cups. We got seven, we got six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. 
And then five, six, seven, eight, five of wands. <laughs> what I'm hearing is, um, is this really happening? Is this for real? Seven of cups with the six of pentacles and the queen of wands. Is this really happening? It's like you guys have been through so much shit. Like whatever you walked away from eight of cups was a doozy. Okay. Whoever or whatever you walked away from was a doozy, but you knew you had to walk away from this person situation to get to your ace of cups because you had to fill your own cup. You had to make yourself the priority and you did that. You achieved that with this two of cups here, but now there's some, someone or someone coming in soulmate energy or a new partnership or you just coming into alignment with your purpose, right? And you're going to be very, like, if it's business, again, career, very well compensated for it. But Seven of Cups is like, it, this is like too good to be true. Ten of Pentacles, you guys, this is legit like the fifth day we've got the Ten of Pentacles. Saturday career longevity, financial wealth. Y'all, I, I said this in the weekly reading that I did on Monday. There's some sort of big financial windfall or support coming in. You guys are going to feel super stable, secure. Knight of Pentacles. This is this is something you've been patiently waiting for or something you have been building over time. Take it, take it as it resonates. Whether this is stability within your relationship, stability in your finances, your career, longevity, you've been working on this steadily and been very patient. Yeah, three of pentacles, because you've been learning. A lot of you have been doing uh, or putting energy into learning how to build your finances, learning how to stabilize your relationship with yourself. Um, maybe you guys have been going to therapy or working with someone to help you understand how to um, pave your own path. Pave your own path. Does that make sense? What else? You guys, because you walked away from this person, this toxic job, whatever was not fulfilling you anymore, it already, it served its purpose. You made space for abundance. You made space for abundance. Wow. The lovers, I told you, soulmate energy. For anyone who is waiting for their soulmate, could be tomorrow, could be a Gemini. Um, Doesn't have to be though. We've got every sign represented. We've got Aries Leo Sag, Taurus Virgo Cap. Um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Ooh. Sorry, guys, a card fell. Hold on. Hold on. <sighs> yeah, your world's never going to be the same. Look at this. The world, literally. You guys, we have the lovers and the world this new direction, this new path that the divine is opening up for you that is very beneficial for you. And what did I say? Partnerships, new relationships, or um, divine direction, your life path, your life purpose, the world. Guys, something really powerful is going to happen tomorrow for you financially um, or within your relationship arena. Now, relationships can be family member, friends, romantic partners. Um Some of you could be building a business with family as well or um, building a business with someone else. But the world, the world is the end of one chapter of your life and then something completely new. Something completely new. Two of wands. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And then nine of, Jesus Christ, nine and ten of pentacles, you guys. Um, who here has been wanting to be like financially independent or you've been working on your self-worth could be both totally could be both. Um, guys, whatever abundance is coming in for you that tomorrow, Saturday, cause this is for Saturday. We did Friday already. You're going to be able to plan for your future. You guys are going to be making some big moves this weekend. Wow. Nine of pentacles. Wow. All right, so let's see what the Rebel Oracle deck has to say about Saturday. And guys, keep tapping the screen to like the live. We're almost halfway to our goal. Let's do it. Let's do it. 
And if you do feel called, guys, um, I would really appreciate if you would share the live. It just helps me work with the algorithm, full disclosure, if you hit that little arrow button on the bottom. If you're if you're aligning with my energy, of course. Oh my god. You guys. You think someone is lying? They are. You think someone is lying? They are. Who the fuck is lying? <laughs> yeah, okay. This is the rebel deck, yes. Okay, so this is a lightning bolt. A lightning bolt. This is giving me tower moment. This is something unexpected. Figure shit out on your own. Figure shit out on your own. Lightning bolt. This is giving me tower energy. Mike, you would think that. Wow. Okay. I'm going to see. I'm going to see what this is. You know what, guys? I, I got some, like, <laughs> I got some news about, like, someone who, who has lied to me heavily in the past. Um, I got news about that yesterday from my best friend, and I'm like, I fucking knew it. Oh, Chris, what type of reading are you booking with me? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I am... Um, I usually don't wear my glasses on live, but I just, I don't know. Full disclosure, guys, I'm at my best friend's house right now. Um, and we were up until like 1 a.m. like drinking wine and like chit-chatting. That's why I'm like this right now. Because <laughs> I'm a little tired. But it's fine. It's fine. I show up for you. For, for y'all. Ooh, okay. So last card for Saturday. You are going through some tough shit. You are going through some tough shit. Um, everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. Wow. Okay. Whoa. Talk about tough love, you guys. A lot of self-worth and tough love for sure. Um, but who's ready for Sunday? Let's let's get into Sunday. This is an this is a crazy ass weekend, you guys. Crazy ass weekend. I want to book a session. You're speaking to me. I feel, um, Brie Wilson, what type of session would you like to book with me? My love. Yeah. Um, a lot of you guys are asking, does anyone want to book a, um, a one-on-one -on -one session with me? Whether that's spiritual guidance, um, spiritual gift or psychic gift development, whether you just want guidance regarding what's going on in your life right now. Okay. So if Okay, so for everyone who's interested in booking a one-on-one -on -one with me, this is how you do it. Um you just have to go to my TikTok profile page, like where all my videos are and stuff. There's a link right below my profile picture. That is my link tree. On my link tree, there's a link that says book your authenticity and spiritual guidance session that encompasses all one on ones. OK, when you book the session, you will be able to put in a memo what you want to talk about. OK. So confirm for me if you guys are going to go book, I highly suggest you book like ASAP because I'm booking into November at this point. All right, but here we go. Who's ready for Sunday, guys? Comment ready. And guys, keep tapping the screen to like the live. Um, Tammy K79, life in general. Um, just give me like a general idea of like what you're experiencing. <gasps> Catherine, you did? I can't, I don't have my laptop with me. I'm at my friend's house, but I'll, I'll take a look. But Catherine signed up for Lightworker Academy, guys. 
Cat G. So Catherine is stepping into her power, signed up for Lightworker Business Academy to learn how to successfully launch and build her lightworking business. I love it. All right, guys, here we go. I'm excited too, Catherine. All right, guys, so here we go for Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. God's Source Universe, Divine Creative All Things. What do we need to know for Sunday? We got the Eight of Cups again. Chris Chacon, um, it's the Authenticity and Spiritual Guidance Session link on my link tree. But Chris, let me know if um, if that let me know if you under, understand or you're able to book because I can't I don't have my laptop next to me so I can't see. Hello, beautiful soul. If you would like to check out the full extended reading, please go check out the Holistic Wellness Soul Family where you will get all the extended readings, specialty readings, and a lot of other fun stuff in the Holistic Wellness Soul Family, as well as an opportunity to connect with me, ask me questions regarding your health and wellness and spiritual journey as well as hanging out with our soul family and connecting with people that accept you for your most authentic self. So the link will be in the description box for you to, to go check out the Holistic Wellness Soul Family, what's included, and to sign up if you feel called. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I love you.